What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And with the past update that we did receive, it has broken a lot of things in game. One of the big things that a lot of people have been reporting is extended matchmaking times. Whether you're playing multiplayer or Warzone, a lot of people are saying that the wait times are just absolutely horrendous. Now, when the update came out, of course, it did break a lot of things in game. But the extended matchmaking times was one of the things that a lot of people were talking about on Twitter and Reddit. Uh, Activision came out on May the 1st and said the issue had been resolved, but there still have been flooded with people talking about the problem with the extended matchmaking times. So Joe Seacott yes yesterday or late yesterday um, said on Twitter that there ha they have identified the matchmaking extended kind of time issue and there will be a fix coming for it. He did not give a specific date for this. He did not give a, you know, if they're going to be having a new update this week. But he said they have identified the problem and there will be a fix for it, hopefully sooner rather than later. Because no one really wants to log on, you know, play with their friends or by themselves and have to wait in a lobby for a long period of time before they can get into a game. And there was a lot of other bugs that kind of came to the game with this update. And I understand they're all working from home, so it's not going to quite be as smooth as it would be if they were all at the office. But that has kind of been a trend on in Call of Duty over the past few years. The more updates that come out, the more broken the game becomes. But as of late, there's been so many bugs coming to the game. I think it's really frustrated a lot of the player base. And this matchmaking issue is also really frustrating the player base. Because like I said, nobody wants to sit there and wait and wait and wait for a game to be able to find you a, a match to be able to go into. Especially when it comes to Warzone. If you go in and die quickly and you have to come out and wait for a long time to get into another round, that really just discourages you from playing at all. So guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about this past update. Has it really broken the game in your opinion? And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, please make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance to share the video, please do. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out GT Racing. They are the affiliate here on the channel. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. So if you're looking for anything like that, definitely check them out. All their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.